There was a lot of college basketball to go with the college football on this Saturday. Both Missouri and Iowa were on the court. The Tigers cruised at home against Northwestern State. K.J. Walton was the star off the bench. Mizzou led by as many as 29 at one point. Next, Missouri faces North Carolina Central at home Monday. Iowa was in a high-scoring one with Memphis. Peter Jock scores a career-high 42 points to join the 1,000-point club, but it wasn't enough. Five Memphis players scored in double figures. Iowa is back at it against Notre Dame on Tuesday. Just a few more scores from some collegiate action. 17th-ranked Indian Hills had another big test today for taking on 12th-ranked Daytona State. The game went back and forth with Indian Hills using a second-half run to pull off the win. Kenny Wernley led the way, but Jamel Allen was the second-half hero and crucial to the come-from-behind victory. The Warriors take on 22nd Vincennes next Friday. The Truman men were also on the court. The Bulldogs just escaped with a slim victory on the road. Jake Velke dropped in a career-high performance, including some crucial free throws to lead Truman State. Next up, it's conference play with the Bulldogs traveling to Kansas City to see Rockhurst on Thursday. And finally, the Truman State women bounced back from last night's loss. Cassidy Clark and Ashley Hartwig both with 18 in the Bulldogs' 94-49 drubbing of Oklahoma Panhandle State.